Hmm. Vibrant leather grooming. Vibrant leather rinse-free hand gel. Vibrant leather hand cream. Vibrant leather hand cream pack. Vibrant leather shower gel. Vibrant leather hand wash. Vibrant leather gift set. Vibrant leather warm. Vibrant leather platinum. Vibrant leather. Vibrant leather oud. And then 20 mil decant. Vibrant leather, vibrant leather metal. We have vibrant leather, vibrant leather 60 mil, vibrant leather 12 mil, vibrant leather oud 100 mil, vibrant leather oud 60 mil, twin pack oud and vibrant leather warm, vibrant leather warm 100 mil, vibrant leather 100 mil metal, and vibrant leather platinum. Hola a todos, me llamo Martin Martinez. You know where we are, guys. Let's get into it. Vamos. So, guys, I'm touching base with you in respect of this particular fragrance, or at least these fragrances. Um, you can see that there's been like so many different variations of this fragrance, and it's one of those things I just want to do a quick video on for you. But please, before we get into this, guys, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You know, um, I'm trying to get to like 5,000 subscribers, so help me out, guys. If you're watching this video, I do appreciate it. Do not leave your comments down below. Now, guys, touching base with respect of this particular fragrance. Hopefully, you can see it on there. I think I've done so many videos on this one in the past, but for some reason, it, it, it seems to be the gift for Zara that keeps on giving. So, ultimately, guys, this fragrance came out in 2018. You know, obviously, as we know, it was a vibrant, no, not vibrant, never. It was a, a Creed Aventus clone or inspired version that was taken to the masses in 2018. And when it was received, guys, you know, at first I was a little bit dubious. I'd smelled Creed before, Creed Aventus at the time, and the bottle I purchased was, as I say, is like 180 pounds. So at the time when I purchased that one, I was a little bit unsure, and I was thinking to myself, well, you know, this sort of knockoff sort of version, I wasn't too deep into fragrances at the time when, again, when this one was coming out. But nonetheless, I thought, you know what, let me purchase it. This is the 2018 bottle, guys. So then this one came out. This one, again, it says it's got notes of bamboo in there, which I don't particularly believe. Leather, and I believe there's some bergamot as well, is what they say on their um, website originally. But it seems to be have more, it seems to have more of a um, citric sort of note. You definitely get bergamot in there. You get this sort of birch note as well in there. And then obviously you used to get this type of lemony citric sort of element on top. So it wasn't really a like for like comparison with, um, how could I say, with um, Creed Aventus. And it shouldn't need to be. At the time you're paying 20 pounds and you're getting a 120 mil bottle. Um, this is what a 120 mil bottle looks like. Seems this seems to have moved away from that, moved it down to like a 100 mil bottle, slightly smaller, and also 60 mil. However, if you see my previous videos, guys, that I did reviews on with ladies, um, again, you need to look through the catalog of videos I have, or just type in Vibrant Leather, even on Google, I'm sure I'll come up as well. But if you look into that, guys, you'll see the reactions that I had when it came to the 2018 bottle. Now, now, unfortunately, and I'm going to say this for the purpose of the video, I believe that this is one of the most, how can I say, sought after fragrances from Zara, and also probably in the history of Zara, this could actually be one of the best selling fragrances they've ever released. And um, when I've been in the store and I've spoken to people in the store, I've spoken to people in the store and they've actually said to me at the time as well, you know, this is the best fragrance that Zara's ever put out, we just can't keep it on the shelves. This was back then. 2019 and so forth in 2020 now for some reason i don't know why and unfortunately and i say this is why i'm saying this this is the best release that they put out but also equally now it's become in my opinion one of the worst the reformulation kills it for what it is guys this level of i don't know if it was like um they've moved to this type of unboxing it seems to be they've taken away the, the, the sort of loudness of the fragrance and made it very very much so a skin scent after probably about an hour whereas before i was easily getting probably about five hours or so and wear this one in the club and i was just getting compliments the scent tray was there women were just asking a question wow what is that fragrance and again you know for whatever reason just at the time it wasn't as publicized but now obviously everyone seems to know about it unfortunately now i think they are taking that and they're just milking it all the way to go to shower gel, to go to hand gel, to go to um, probably it's probably like even like a hand sanitizer version out there of it. Who knows? But for me, guys, it's just a real shame that you know. Ultimately, Zara. If anyone it works with Zara, if you if you've seen this, please just take note. For this fragrance, in my opinion, take it back to the old formulation. The reformulation seems to have just just 
killed off the element of what made it special in my opinion because it just doesn't last anymore and i know it's cheap i know it's cheap in respect to 20 pounds and i know people are buying this one just to buy it alongside their clothes but for what it was in my opinion for high street fragrances this was a standalone fragrance i know that um next in uk brought a version of um their own version can't remember the name quite now but it just didn't measure up it just didn't have the same i don't say prestige or the same level of um how could i say complexity as a fragrance that one smelled to me like a high street fragrance this one smelled to me like it's actually something that i would purchase if i went to boots and wanted to buy a fragrance not obviously selfridges in the uk but something along the lines of actually in the fragrance realm this would have been it however it's been milked now all these different variations of it and again it comes back to the same thing and the key principle point is you just need to get the formulation back to where it needs to be don't there's no you know all these additional things i don't know about the sales and i don't know if people are too desperate to buy a hand gel or not if you're just coming into fragrances now i'd still say go and check out this fragrance and probably get it for 20 pounds you don't lose anything but it's just a real shame that it doesn't have the elements in it that seems to be so much of a desirable point back in from 2018 this new version the world well, reformulated version reformulated version just seems to be again too light it doesn't last long enough it's my opinion as i say it's just become one of the worst fragrances now because i know what it was like before and i'm not saying that things need to stay the same of course not but if you know what fragrance smells like before the reformulation um, it just makes you think to yourself why 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 break it if it's working now again Zara obviously got out there to make money and that's ultimately what it's about they gotta do what they need to do it's not for me to say it's not for anyone probably to say unless you actually you know at that level to make those decisions but I, I just wonder why this reformulation has happened and then on top of the reformulation they're milking so much milking so much other aspects of it with, with the handle and everything else like that for me you know that's fine but if the core fragrance isn't really doing what it needs to do, that's a shame. And I think they're, they're milking it because they're living on past glories of what this what, what this was. Um, the people that really supported it, I don't know that many people actually buy this anymore, but the people that really supported it when it first came out, this was the fragrance to have. I mean, I bought maybe, I probably got through about four bottles, I was wearing it that often. And these are 120ml bottles and I was just putting it on, you know, a chandos in pensar, I was just putting it on without thinking and I was just enjoying it so much. And ultimately now, it's at a point now where I think I've got maybe um a still a 2019 version that's got a little bit of juice left this one is probably the most recent one i probably purchased was 2020 version which i just don't even wear i mean i've had this probably probably from the start of the year um i think i've also purchased the 60 mil somewhere i got that around again but that seems to be slightly more to the older batches and then i've got the most recent this this special edition which seems to just be pretty much do some broxing but the key thing again the key thing to know again unfortunately is that this actual longevity is just gone there's no projection anymore and that central that bubble is just ultimately it's just gone missing so what i'd recommend guys if you see my previous videos if you look through the previous videos i try and put some um links down below look through the previous videos guys you'll see what the ladies reactions were when i first did a review of this one in the very first time on the channel and then obviously slightly later where it's gone to now i probably don't even bother doing reviews on it because there's just nothing to talk about and there's nothing new um other fragrances out there now since then obviously mont blanc explorer um, i know they've also been clones in the past as well um you've got also mancera's i want to say serrat bois i think it's called the top of my head so you know there's other variations and other things out there um, you've also got a uh, Roja, I want to say Elysium, you know, there's different things you can do depending on your price point. But for what this was guys, for what it was and what us in the fragrance community were looking for, when we came out looking for this one, we knew what we were getting back in 2018, borderline 2019. Reformulations happened and now you're buying this thinking, <coughs> excuse me, reformulations happened and you're now you're buying this thinking, wow, woeful performance, woeful longevity. Um, you know the, 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 it doesn't even necessarily need to be a complex fragrance and that's not even what we're asking for all we're asking for is just put some more time into getting this i don't know if it's the base note or whatever it was that's been taken out to make this fragrance actually last that's all it needs to be it doesn't need to be anything else and who knows guys maybe they'll release a vibrant level intense version but with all these different variations to it i just don't see the point what is the point bring out the one that works bring out the ones that people actually who are really into it actually want and i'm sure with that one the sales will just even increase so zara if you listen to this one i'm just letting you know but take note and also guys again do not forget to leave do not forget to leave your comments down below and i'll see you on the next video ciao